नमस्कार मित्रांनो तुमचं स्वागत आहे मराठी आय एम एल चॅनलवरती टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी द गेमा ओपन मॉडेल रिलीज बाय दी गुगल डीप माइंड टीम द सेम टीम हू वर्क ऑन जेमिनी वन पॉईंट फाय नाव डेज वी कॅन सी द जेमिनी वन पॉईंट फाय इज मेकिंग सम काइंड काइंड ऑफ नॉईज अँड कॉन्झिक्युटिव्हली दे आर रिलीजिंग व्हेरी गुड मॉडेल अँड दिस इज वन ऑफ द गुड मॉडेल आय कॅन से द गेमा रिलीज बाय दी सेम टीम uh the 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 main reason we are concentrating here because it's a small uh, lightweight model and this model we can fine tune on our local laptop or the small uh, hardware setup as well uh definitely we are going to see a uh, multiple points here uh, let's jump to that uh yes so second uh this is the family of lightweight it's a state of the uh, art state of the art model it's a open model uh the same team uh, by the uh, the same research and the technology team who use uh, to create the gemini model uh, they have given in their website this is a uh, this is the three points they have highlighted this is one is the responsible by design uh, second is the unmatched performance at size and the flexible uh, framework flexible so when i say the responsible by design means uh, they have incorporated the compressive safety measures uh this model helps to ensure that the responsible and the trustworthy ai solution through curated data sites and the rigorous uh, tuning so they also given one of the toolkit called as a responsible ai toolkit uh, uh, so this toolkits help us to have the responsible ai means whenever user is giving the input there should be a follow some kind of safeguards it will check whether the user input is a trustworthy or not uh, checking that and then it will send to the ai model uh this ai model is something it's a pre trained uh, pre trained model on the pre trained data and it will give the responsible generation as well it make sure that the my llm model is not giving any kind of uh you know harmful output and again uh, it will go uh, go to the uh, product outputs but before going to the product outputs it will be the safeguard and the same output uh whatever the output we have uh the user will give the feedback on that right so this user feedback also submit to the ai model so that ai model will uh, you know act accordingly so they are give uh, so this gamma model gives us a responsible ai uh, toolkit second is the unmatched performance at size uh, so uh, gamma has released two model one is the 2b that is the 2 billion parameter size and 7b that is the <laughs> 7 billion parameter size and it's really work extremely very well <laughs> if you compare uh, this model with the uh, mistral or the llama 2 which is one of the good model in the open source and they have performed very well and they have released one matrix uh, if you if you go through the more matrix uh, it really uh, says that it works very well uh, if you see the general capability in the general capability they have this uh 64.3 <laughs> they have rated us as compared to the llama 2 if you go with the reasoning capability it works very well 55.1 as compared to llama 2 is only 32.6 so this comparison is happening between the gamma 7b model and the uh, llama 2 model uh, even the mathematics it works well and the code level also it works well so this is the some of the benchmark uh, we can consider and it's really good if we wanted to use this model in our uh, use okay let's jump back to the third point this framework flexible means um, um with the keras 3.0 uh, we can enjoy the seamless compatibility compatibility with the jacks of tensorflow and pytorch so this gamma model <laughs> have the kind of framework flexibility with the jacks tensorflow and the pytorch okay and you can switch uh, between any framework if you want if you want to, to use a jacks not tensorflow or if you want to stick to the pytorch you can switch in between using the keras 3.0 so keras uh, is a something you can say it's a uh, api model uh, built on top of tensorflow okay so you can easily call the functions uh, trainable functions or the any functions uh, to tweak uh, the model okay so this is and if you wanted to go in more detail this is a website where ai.google.dev/gamma all the details have been given in very much detail i hope you understood this point okay i have covered this <laughs> okay now let's continue again uh, as i mentioned earlier this model is available in the uh, 2b that is 2 billion and 7 billion parameter um, you can use this uh, 
model in collab in a minute in some time i will explain how you can use this model in the uh, collab or in the kaggle notebook uh, you can easily integrate it's already had an in integration with the hugging face nvidia nemo max text tensor rt llm so it's easy third point um, it's it's a pre-train and the instructions tune gamma model so you can easily run on the your laptop you no need to have a specialized uh, hardware okay you can easily do uh, provided that you have that uh, specific requirement but but in today's experimentation we use google collab just for the faster development okay as google provides a free gpu access as well uh, we will see in a minute uh, also you can integrate with the vertex ai and the google kubernetes engine as well uh, as far as the optimization concern let me switch off my video so that you can see the ppt very well yes so as an optimization it across the multiple ai hardware <laughs> platform ensures the industry leading performance and it has a nvidia GPU, gpu and the google cloud tpu supported next is the uh, yes you can use commercially but there is a some term uh, you have to accept it uh, for the commercial uses if you use the llama 2 earlier you know that you have to do the uh, accept the their terms and licenses then only you can use the llama 2 on similar way uh, you can accept those term their regulation for the commercial purpose but if you wanted to use for commercially please check out the website before if you want to this model for the commercial purpose this is the my recommendation uh, second yeah i think one, one second okay the next uh, let's come to the one second sorry yeah last slide so next come to the uh, our today's uh, purpose of this uh, uh, session that uh, uh, what we are going to do we are going to see how the uh, gamma model uh, if you fine tune using the LoRa uh, how is it performing very well but before that uh, the gamma is a, a supervised fine tuning model it it tune on the large corporate text okay and you can fine tune this model for any downstream task for example domain specific task or any sentiment analysis or any task that you are looking for for example in a translation or any task that you have thought of to use okay uh, it's a pre-trained and fine-tuning model okay <laughs> so when i say uh, you can you you can do the fine-tuning means you can update the parameter right this is what exactly the meaning of the fine-tuning uh, now for the fine-tuning purpose we are going to use the lora technique it's a low uh, adoption ranking technique okay uh, it when when i say the lora uh, i already pasted the uh, my detailed article or detailed information on the LoRa, please check out my LinkedIn profile uh, to get to know about the how the LoRa and other stuffs. But maybe if you wish, uh, I can take the another session on LoRa where I'll explain step by step how LoRa works. Okay. But long story short, the LoRa it reduces the number of trainable parameter for downstream task. We know that any kind of large language model are highly parameterized right there are 2 billion 3 billion 7 billion parameter and if you wish to fine tune those large language model our hardware or our current existing system uh, <laughs> is not up to the mark to do this kind of fine tuning right so somewhere we have to reduce so LoRa is a something the technique you can uh, achieve this uh, you know so LoRa is a technique so that you can reduce the trainable parameter for the downstream task so what exactly let's say it's a 7 billion parameter some of the parameter you freeze okay completely freeze and some of the parameter you kept open when you train that model on your data set okay the new model new weight get added into this uh, actual model okay uh, whatever the large language model you have okay so this new model weight when i say new that means new model weight it's get added into this large language model and then this model you can use uh, for any downstream task uh, you have right so this is something the lora help us uh, now today's demo we are going to do this lora fine tuning of gamma 2b model on the databricks dolly uh, 15k data sets i okay so this is our today's task we see how it is performing uh, however this notepad i have uh, you know i have used the uh, the gamma notebook okay so i am using the same notebook that uh, google uh, has provided and we are going to use the same notebook for this today's demo okay i hope you understood uh, what is uh, gamma and what is all about it is again something uh, other model 
but how you can use this model for fine tuning task let's see now okay 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 before before <laughs> before that i think this is very important uh, to understand uh, if you wanted to use the gamma uh, what you need to do right uh, definitely we go through the notebook but let's understand this uh, first of all you have to do the setup okay so when i set up uh, you have to go to the kaggle.com okay uh, in kaggle.com just a minute let me take the pencil yes so go to the kaggle.com uh, in kaggle.com you go to the model okay in the model select the gamma so it has uh, this google slash uh, gamma and request the uh, access when you request the access there will be a this is the again the website where you can check how to set up this Re request the access there is a lot of information you have to accept those requests and then within a some time within a second or minute you can say you will grant the access so now you can use this gamma for your uh, purpose okay or for your experimentation second uh, let me use the okay once once uh, okay okay once you get the access please uh, use the google colab and i recommend it to use this uh, t4 gpu uh, so that your training will be faster and you will not face the issue call out of memory okay so please before using google use this uh, t4 gpu as your runtime okay now once you get the access it is very important you to set up the api key without api key you will not able to run this notebook okay so i explain first you have to set up the um uh, plus you first you have to get the license after the license uh, <laughs> notebook i have mentioned but before notebook you can do this that is the api key okay don't use this api key uh, though you are seeing on the screen this api key i have copied from the documentation so definitely it is not useful if you want to use the same api key you have to generate the uh, a new api key okay so for this you have to log into the uh, kaggle websites and in the kaggle websites if you don't have any access please create the kaggle it is very easy step then uh, go to your profile under the profile there is a section called as api and you create the new token once you create the new token this kaggle.json file will be downloaded in your laptop or in your pc whatever okay you can open that json in the text editor and this something format you can see <laughs> that username your username what your username of your profile and there will be a key so just copy this uh, or you no need to copy you can keep where I, I will show you in a minute how you can use this username and key in the google cola okay yeah let me jump to the next slide <laughs> yeah i think this is done now let's jump to the uh, collab how you can use the gamma model for the fine tuning purpose right now before going to the let me show you the how you can use this model okay api key now in the google collab uh, okay before that as i let me as i mentioned <laughs> please use this uh, gamma youtube okay uh, sorry okay so as i mentioned uh, please uh, use the change the runtime okay and when you go to the change runtime use the t4 gpu as a runtime okay now once you've done that runtime uh, here is a on the google collab on the left side there is a something if you can see the logo of secrets you can click on that secrets and there is something called as notebook access okay you can mention the key and you can mention the username and similarly you can copy the specify username from the kaggle json file uh, to this okay uh, please mention the key in front of key username in front of the username and just close it okay once this done uh, this is the notebook definitely i will share but anyhow this notebook uh, is available in the uh, google development uh, website from there you can also download or i'll give in the uh, description sec sec section for the easy way easy access okay now first uh, you have to set up the environment in the environment what we are doing just uh, uh, you know fetching the username and the key and set up as a os environment once that done uh, please inst we need to install the keras as a high level api uh, keras nlp and the keras uh, one important thing uh, you should use the keras 3.0 so don't use any uh, let me use a pencil okay don't use uh, any version less than uh, 3 
okay so 3.0 is one of the very important if you try because i tried uh, it will not run so please use the keras 3.0 then only this will work okay next <laughs> okay once once done that uh, you can you need to set up the backend so as i mentioned earlier in my presentation this keras uh, backend is available in the jax torch and tensorflow so when i mention the backend what exactly mean that when you train this gamma model okay it will use the jax framework or tar torch framework or tensorflow flame framework uh, for the training okay but for the today's demo we are using the jax as a backend framework when we are doing the fine tuning and there is some uh, extra memory uh, parameter you have to set up to avoid the memory fragmentations okay uh, so it we have set up this as a one once 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 done that then import the package let me delete this import the package okay keras and keras nlp as i mentioned we are going to use the databricks dolly data set <laughs> i'll show you what exactly this data set but it is a very small data set uh, i think it almost only the 12.48 uh, and this is fine data set but for your actual experimentation you can go uh, as large as data set for the fine tuning but for this demo we are using the databricks dolly 15k json file after that uh, this data set is very large uh, and it will take a large amount of time so we are only considering the first 1000 training example for this demo now what this <laughs> data actually contain it has many things but if you look at this instruction it has which is the species of fish uh, top or rope then it is give the response so here we are again filtering this uh, data set and creating the data set uh, likewise like instruction so it's this instruction and in the response we will get the response so instruction is the key their value and the uh, response is the key and their value so we are formatting the data set in this way so that we have the <laughs> instruction fine tuning kind of data after that once this done that we are going to use the keras nlp um, uh, you know framework where we are using the gamma to be uh, english model okay now there are 7b models also is available you can use if you want but for this experimentation we are using this here is the model you can link click on this link and you can see the other uh, 7b english model as well but we are using this <laughs> to be english model once the download is com completed now you can see it's almost uh, you know uh, it requires the 5 minutes uh, to run this model and and once uh, once once this is done uh, you can see that how much almost 2 billion parameter is available and the size of this model is almost 9.34 gigabytes trainable parameter is also same that is 2.5 uh, sorry 2, uh, 2, 2 million and the size is 9.34 uh, GB okay so once and it almost took uh, 20 to 30 minutes to download this model so please have a passion and that's why I recommend it please use the uh, T4 GPU model for this once once this done that you can <laughs> try out the prompt so here i have asked uh, this model explain how respiration works in human body and and it gives me the answer now if you look at the answer the answer is respiration is a process taking oxygen and releasing the carbon dioxide it is a process in all living organism it process in all living organism it process in all living organism it is the process in all living organism now it is giving the same type of sentence again and again again and again again and again right so output is not as expected what we want right now i i tried the different question that what is the importance of the chlorophyll in plant now this time it is giving me answer that chlorophyll is uh, green pigment in a plant that is responsible for absorption of light energy it is essential for photosynthesis the process by which plant converts the sunlight into energy chlorophyll also helps plant to absorb nutrient now this time the answer is good maybe model is aware of this uh, question but if you look at the uh, previous uh, it is explained step by step but it is not as per what we we are looking for right now we are going to do the fine tuning so that we can have the better answer right so here we are using the LoRa and for that we are using the function called as uh, backbone enable LoRa rank 4. Now you, you can increase the rank you can go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 whatever as per expectation but uh, we are purposefully using the less computational overhead 
less low rank because for the less computational overhead and less precise adoption if you increase the rank okay there might be a chances that you require more computational and high precision but the, for the purpose we are keeping the rank and you can slowly increase the rank if you if you feel that the output is not as per expected okay so this is something that you can play with that so we started with the rank 4 and we started the fine tuning okay now after setting the rank 4 you can see as i explained earlier earlier total parameter is a 2 billion it reduces to the 1.3 billion right so now it, it is just the 5.20 mb right <laughs> earlier trainable parameter if you scroll up the earlier parameter is almost same like 2 billion, billion right uh, and same 2 billion here okay but after setting the LoRa it just got reduced to only 5.20 mb that is 1.3 million something correct so it's 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 almost reduces uh, very drastically and see how it performs after setting up that we have set up the sequence length then we are using adapt uh, adam as an optimizer and then learning rate weight decay here ex here we are excluding some of the weight decay that is uh, from weight decay that is bias and the scale um, then we are setting the my loss as a <laughs> cate sparse categorical cross entropy and then weighted matrix as a sparse categorical accuracy and then we hit okay uh, today's session is not about explaining this parameter but these are the some of the parameter we have set up for our fine tuning purpose and we started so it almost if you look at this we, we it almost <laughs> use thousand steps for the training and it almost took i think 30 minutes for this training and the accuracy is 52 percent and the loss is 45 percent okay so this way you can fine tune this model using the KRS, which is very few three line of code is required if you want to uh, fine tune the model using keras okay with the help of lora now i ask the same questions <laughs> i want to see how the model is performs after fine tuning now i ask the same question explain how the respiration works in human body step by step then i am getting this answer let's see respiration occurs in human body when it's when it is consumed the production of energy by burning the food during the respiration oxygen enters the body through the nose and lungs and it is transported to the cell of the body through bloodstream in the lungs oxygen is exchanged carbon dioxide and then transport to cell and the carbon dioxide produced during the burning food is transported out of the cell and out of the body in the body blood contest now i think this is a really great answer definitely it it really performs very well so see after the finding the gamma the output is improve a lot i think this is a good start i think anyone can start working on the gamma and can use gamma as a one of the good model for the fine tuning purpose i hope you like this video if you like please uh, like share and subscribe and please do the comment section if you want any such a video more or if you want to explain if you want if you wanted to explain any other stuff uh, regarding the machine learning ai and the generative app please please comment it thank you so much uh, see you next time